you think about it, INFB.com. You can start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Moving on, 195 pounds. John Purdy representing the Castle Knights and his head coach, Bob Harmon, the senior with a record of 43-1 and one with 28 season falls. His career record, 147 and 11, 97 falls in his career. Kate McConnell representing the center, Grove Trojans. Maurice Swade is head coach. The junior with a sparkling 40 and 3 record on the season. His career record 74 and 8. Again, Kate McConnell, John Purdy, 195 pound weight class. So these two met last week in uh, the Evansville Semi State where John Purdy was victorious 2 to 1. Really low scoring match. Um, Kate McConnell's been kind of the king of that this entire tournament. He's been winning a bunch of close matches. Um, start off with Friday night as he beat an undefeated wrestler Friday night in the tiebreakers. And uh, he just he's really good at winning close matches. McConnell's ranked number seven, but he defeated number five, as Blake mentions, Christian Chavez from Mishawaka in ultimate tiebreaker four to three. And that was a law, one of his losses that he avenged from earlier in the year, 5-3. Nice head outside single by John Purdy. Got to his feet right away. Good, clean finish. And right away, he transitions to a good breakdown, good near arm chop, getting his opponent on his belly. Purdy is so strong and so quick. That's a thing, uh, Coach Gable. I was going to say, for 195 pounder, that's better than average quickness, isn't it? Oh, he was maybe the leading tackler in the state in football, and he was a rock out there, and he's a rock on the mat. Three-peat football state champion for our good friend Eric Moore. And McConnell's a member of the Center Grove football program as well. John Purdy's looking for a two-on-one uh, tilt. McConnell did a good job base, uh, bellying down to not give up any points. The great pressure here by John Purdy, staying on his toes, driving forward, keeping weight on the head and neck area of his opponent. This is really good uh, top wrestling. We always talk about staying on your toes, putting pressure on your opponent. And McConnell can, cannot get to a base, and Purdy's just controlling the action right now. Yeah, yeah, great first period for John Purdy. Interesting matchup again between two outstanding wrestlers, two outstanding football players. Again, McConnell, three-peat state champion with Center Grove. Purdy, all-state linebacker, 200 tackles on a season, and will play football at Kentucky Wesleyan. Grace up and away quickly. Up. Legs out nicely. You can break the hand, the lock here. You'll be able to score at least one, perhaps two. Yeah, so Purdy wants to try to break this lock. He needs to be pushing on his opponent's hips and creating space. And this is a very familiar position for Caden McConnell because this is where he won Friday oh, he night. Broke it. But he broke the lock. I would imagine the referee's holding one. Okay, so now it's a one neutral, one escape. Good single leg by Purdy. Good defense by McConnell. Minute 30 left, second period. 3-0 lead for John Purdy. McConnell got to the finals with a 5-1 overtime victory as he had an ultimate tiebreaker overtime victory earlier in the tournament uh, this weekend, and he beat Reed Schrader, who's ranked number three in the state, uh, in that overtime. Purdy's ranked number one. His only loss has been to Reed Schrader, who's ranked number three. And Purdy also pulled off some big wins against uh, Luke Hansen, who was undefeated from Roncalli in a three-to-one match. And he also defeated uh, number two ranked Gunnar Henry from Brownsburg to get to the finals. So he is on a mission. Purdy's a four-time sectional champion, two-time regional champion. A three-time state qualifier was fifth in 2021 and sixth a year ago. So I know we talked about these guys wrestled last week at the Evansville Semi-State. There's been a lot of um, familiar foes, and the Evansville Semi-State really showed up this weekend. Um, they had 17 of the 28 finalists tonight. So really good performance by the Evansville Semi-State. All four wrestlers in 195 were from the Evansville that made it to the semifinals. And featured third and fourth and now first and second from Evansville semi-state. Purdy, of course, from Castle High School. McConnell from the very uh, strong Center Grove School. Yeah, what a performance by Center Grove. They're currently in second place in team points. 
I don't think we've ever seen three teams over 125 points in a I, tournament because it's very rare. Most most common teams score about 100 points to win the title, right. and these three teams are super elite this year. It's amazing the separation they've created in the state. They're all three nationally ranked. Uh, they they battle each other during the team state. Al Smith, you name it, they're always going at each other. And uh, some of the schools have actually go out of state to look for more competition. Uh, Purdy comes from an athletic family. His older sister, J.C., starting shortstop at Boonville High School when they won the 3A softball, softball state championship in 2021. Their last state champion was Robert Dieters at 170 pounds in 2020. Purdy's going to try to get him to the mat or else he'll get warned for stalling if he can't try to attempt to get him down. But he did a nice job. Yep. Yeah, so Caden McConnell did a good job getting his feet, and Purdy did enough to avoid the stall call because in the rules it's just all you have to do is attempt to bring your opponent back down. You don't have to return them. So you have to attempt to bring him down to avoid the stall call, which he did. This time a much better start on the whistle for John Purdy, getting his opponent back to his belly. Purdy's wrestling a very good match, under control, a lot of pressure, like you mentioned, Blake. You'll see him often with both of his feet or knees off the mat, with his feet driving into McConnell's weight to keep him flattened out. Now, he doesn't necessarily have to turn him, but he certainly has control. Now he's got the wrist or the bar arm near side. He might shoot for a half Nelson far side, but he's got to be careful if he extends himself too far. It's mainly a right out here. Yeah. He's doing a good job. He's getting his he's getting his um, legs out to the side there to avoid stall call. So he's doing a really good job from the top position. And McConnell's just got to work harder to get to his feet, which he's giving some effort here now. Again, he's got, so good job John to transition to a single. That was beautiful. Yeah. Great wrestling by Purdy. 47 seconds left. And he's up four to zero as McConnell's been hit for his second stall. John Purdy. Castle Knights looking for win number 44 and the biggest one of the season. Nice job by Purdy breaking the stand up attempt. The four points are going to be awfully hard to overcome, especially in this position. He's been here three times before to the finals, but this is his first appearance in the state championship. Looking to make the most of it, and he's 25 seconds away from doing just that. 20 seconds left. He's doing a great job. Again, keeping his opponent's head in the mat. Making his opponent tired. Looks like McConnell just really just didn't have too much for Purdy in the finals here. But great match. Good job by Kane McConnell getting to this point. Purdy, had, Purdy looks fresh. He looks like, uh, hey, I'm just going to win this. Now he's talking to the crowd. He had as beaten the state championship comes. He had beaten previously undefeated Ron Conley senior Luke Hansen. 3-1 to one in the quarterfinals. John Purdy from Castle, your champion at 195 pounds. High school wrestling state championships on the Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance. The IHSAA Champions Network. Some people see a huddle in the locker room. We see 